फोरफिचर एंड रिस ऑफ शेयर्स व्हिच वेयर इशूड एट ए प्रीमियम दैट मींस द शेयर्स वेयर इशूड एट ए प्रीमियम एंड दीज आर फोरफिटेड ओरिजिनल इशूड एट ए प्रीमियम ए शेयर ऑफ रुपीस 100 ए मींस 1 1 शेयर ऑफ रुपीस 100 इशूड एट ए प्रीमियम ऑफ रुपीस 10 on which 80 including premium was called and 60 including premium was paid has been forfeited. This share was afterwards reissued as a fully paid up for rupees 70. Give general entries to record the above. This means that rupees 20 premium was called and rupees 20 premium was received. Premium once received cannot be forfeited. Hence, when premium is received, it will never be entered in the forfeiture and reissue journal. Here, in the books of dash dash, working notes, note 1, distribution of amount and number of installments, application, allotment, etc. rupees 50 plus 10, rupees 60. And, First call rupees 20. This 70 plus 10, 80 was called and rupees 60 including premium was received. Second and final call rupees 30. The balance out of 100, that is 100 plus 10, 110. And one share, a holder of one share could not pay the first call. The total is 100 plus 10. Now, here premium money has been received by the company. Fair note, general entries of Dash Dash Limited, there is no date. Share capital account debit 1 into 70. Premium money has been collected. Hence, call the value will be 50 plus 20, 50 application and 20 fast call, that is 50. Two share forfeited shares account only 50, not 60. Premium once received cannot be forfeited. Two share first call account that is rupees 20. Amount not received from the shareholder. Being one share of rupees 70 called up, forfeited for non payment of the first call money of rupees 20 per share. One share. Next entry is reissue entry. Bank account debited rupees 70, forfeited shares account debited, this is discount and reissue, 100 rupees worth share reissued re at rupees 70, hence 30 rupees is forfeited shares account. Two share capital account 100, being that share reissued at rupees 70 per share fully or rupees 100 paid up, fully paid up or rupees 100 paid up. Then capital reserve, last entry, forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account. 50 rupees was forfeited, out of that 30 was given as a discount and reissue. Hence 20 is the profit. Being profit and forfeiture and reissue of shares transferred to capital reserve account. And the last one is total of the journal, that is 190 in the debit column as well as in the credit column and this is the final answer.